Dory 1, this is Fireteam Delta. Dad's coming home. Welcome to the Military Veteran Dad Podcast, where it is our mission to bring every dad home. I am your host, Ben Colloy. I am a United States Marine veteran, husband, and a father. We will bring authentic conversations to inspire action in your life so we can close the gap between the dad you are today and the dad you want to be tomorrow. This is the Military Veteran Dad Podcast. Welcome back to Fatherhood Friday. This is your official welcome to the weekend. I am your host, Ben Colloy. And if this is your first time being here, thank you for checking in to Fatherhood Fridays. These have been going on for well over a year now, and they have become my favorite thing to record. They have been your favorite thing to listen to. I get feedback all the time on that Fatherhood Fridays give you guys the wisdom, the oomph, the initial push to get through the weekend. And Monday gives you that inspiration, but Friday reminds you why the weekend and fatherhood is so important. So thank you. And if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. If this is a long-time listener, I can't express how long and much appreciation I have for you supporting this podcast, sharing it out there with all the people in your life, because without those, without you sharing it, this podcast doesn't grow. And its mission to help dads come home, not to the building, but to a feeling, doesn't continue to grow as well. Before we get started with this week's message, I have a task for you. Short task, short and sweet, but this one will help someone out there with a donation. So Podchaser is doing a sponsorship for the month of April that for every review someone leaves on a podcast on Podchaser, they are donating 25 cents to Feeding America. Now, 25 cents doesn't sound like a much, but they can get almost an entire family's meal for about a dollar because a lot of the food with Feeding America is already donated. And a lot of what Feeding America does, you're supporting the transportation to move the food to the people that need it. So 25 cents doesn't sound like a lot, but among all the people that are leaving reviews on Podchaser, it can do a lot for the hunger that is out there in America. So the task, go head over to militaryveterandad.com forward slash reviews with an S and that will take you to the Military Veteran Dad Podchaser profile. Go ahead and leave a review for the podcast on there, and that review will count automatically, no additional work, towards the campaign Defeating America that Podchaser is currently running. This is for only for the month of April. After April, it goes back to normal. So through the month of April, Podchaser is donating $0.25 cents for every review left to Feeding America. Those reviews are whether they be on Apple or Podchaser. Podchaser is kind of like the I am Ben D of podcasting. So it is a place to be known and heard. And this is where people go to help find the podcast. So those reviews help people connect. And this podcast is mission and what it's doing for families out there. So again, head over to militaryveterandad.com forward slash review. Do your little part and your little 25 cents could actually feed an entire family. So on with the show. This episode today is all about you. Now, as I was getting ready to prepare this episode, I wanted to make it short, I wanted to make it impactful, but I wanted to go deep. And here's what we're going to talk about. What's really holding you back? I talk to so many dads, so many dads, and there are so many things they initially come to me with that are holding them back. And they don't know what to do. All of those things are all valid that they bring me generally. But they're really not the core of what is holding them back. Part of the coaching process that I have, the program, week two, I'm going to unpack a little bit right here on today's episode. So week two, we focus on what's called, let's get real. What is holding you back? And what is this week about? It is about finding and identifying your shadows. Now, that sounds funny and weird, and you're like, Ben, what the hell are you talking about? Shadows? Are you kidding me? Let me break it down. Within our mind, there are things that people know about us. There are things we are known for. There are family members that know things about us. But those things are in the light. People can see them. They are unobstructed by any shadows, and they are what they are. There is no distortion, really, to those things. But there is this other portion that is your shadows, the stuff that people don't know, 
the people that maybe people have heard but don't actually know what it looks like because it's hidden in the darkness. And third, there are things probably in that darkness that you've never even unpacked because it's in the dark. You can't know what's in there unless either one, you put it there because you wanted to hide it, or two, you haven't unpacked it to really figured out what that is. And these shadows is where a lot of what's holding dads back. Whatever it may be on the front end, whatever excuse, whatever words you're using to say, man, this is just really holding me back. At the core, at the massive big idea behind all of that is it's your shadows. What you hold in your shadows, whether it, if you think of it as a pie, if your shadows is 25%, 50%, maybe it's extreme and 90, 75%, it takes a lot of mental energy to keep that stuff in the shadows. It takes a lot of mental energy to continue to rotate your mentality when you're talking to someone to make sure they never see what's in those shadows because everything has to get filtered. Everything has to get processed. Everything has to kind of go through a pre-audit. If you think of like a communication department for a big company, everything has to be run through the communication team before it's said out loud to make sure the company's not judged incorrectly. That's what your mind is doing with these shadows. So when you think about these shadows... What, why are they there? Well, they're there because this is what your ego does to hide who you really are because you've become this person that you think you need to be because this is who you need to be to feel loved, whatever it may be. All of that is in the light. But in the shadows is really what's holding us back. So how do we work out? What's the action step out of this, Ben? Is probably what you're asking. The action step is what we talk about a lot, vulnerability. The action step is understanding that when you take things out of your shadows, they don't come into the light to get judged. They come into the light to get healed. There's an example that I was just talking about on social media. If you're not following me there, go and check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. But overall, this idea with light and healing hit me and came to me, and I was reminded of this, and it's a weird analogy, but Superman. Superman, no matter what, happens to him matter whether it's kryptonite whether he's been beaten down or kryptonite cut him and now he's bleeding the sun the light always heals him it always is this rejuvenating force to heal but it can't heal within the darkness and what you don't realize also when you think of vulnerability because a lot of men get stuck in this idea that we got to keep it on the inside vulnerability is a magnetic attraction it's not a magnetic repulsion that people don't stay away from you because of vulnerability. They actually can get to know you. Within marriage, you can't know each other as a husband and wife if you don't know each other, and you can't love each other unless you know each other, and you don't know each other unless you truly know all about them. You can't contain a certain portion of yourself. You can't hide a portion of yourself. All of that comes from the shadows. So again, the basic action step Identify what's in those shadows. Identify how you can work on bringing it into the light. And the more times you bring it into the light, the more times that that whatever was there will have less power over you. Because a lot of that stuff in the shadows is manipulating your personality, your subconscious, your routines. You do things every day probably to make sure that those things stay in there. Those things lose their power when they're in the light. Now, it may not, it's not an instantaneous either. Sometimes they creep back into the shadows because your ego wants you to go back to who you were. But keep putting it out there. Keep telling your story. This podcast is a perfect example of things that were in my shadows, and now I express them openly on a podcast. Every time I do an episode on something that's vulnerable from my life and I share it with you, it loses its power over my life. Same thing for you. Whether And maybe you're not ready to bring it into the full light of someone else and the, the world to see it. But it would also help just getting into the light of journaling. Maybe you just tell yourself and write it out for the first time because there still is light on the words of a page or a Word document that you might be typing into. All of that, all of that can happen. There's different layers of it and there's different progressions to it. But it's really, really important that you identify and acknowledge that there is shadow in your life and your subconscious And the stuff in those shadows is what's holding you back because you're spending a lot of mental energy trying to hide it. And the moment you start letting it go, 
that's when you can start feeling like, man, I feel like a new man. Well, you feel like a new man because you're operating with an entire new set of RAM and processor that were devoted to keeping the back end running, but now it can be devoted towards living your life, being a dad, not worried about all this crap that's holding you back. So put a nice bow on it. Identify that one, there is a shadow. Two, the exercise of bringing that shadow into the light of whatever items are hiding in there, whether it be journaling, whether it be telling a close friend, whatever it may be, whatever that looks like, know that that healing process happens when you bring it in to the light. And the magical point that happens through all of this process is that magnetic attraction, that you sharing your darkness, whatever it may be, is actually giving someone else permission to go second. Maybe me giving this prompt is me giving you permission to go second, and I went first. Whatever it may be, this allows you to help someone else even. And then you can find purpose in the pain when your story actually created a door for someone else to walk through for the first time. Whatever it may be, that can happen when you start this process. So with that, I'm signing off. Have an amazing weekend. As spring comes around, I hope everybody's out there enjoying the great weather. Find some adventure. Be awesome. Be a great dad. And I will talk to you guys again on Monday.